Thanks for joining this how-to video brought to you by Salesforce. In this video, you'll learn about referrals and provider relationship management in Salesforce Health Cloud. Provider relationship management in Health Cloud is a set of features that facilitates effective communication and collaboration between healthcare providers. Referral management helps you streamline the process of patient referrals, ensuring a seamless experience for both patients and providers. Health Cloud is built on top of our Salesforce platform. You should understand each of the following key concepts before you set up any Salesforce org, including Health Cloud. List views. These are a great way to sort, prioritize, and analyze the records for a particular object. Page layouts and record types. These help reveal your business processes, page layouts, and pick list values. How to add and remove fields so you can make adjustments to your org. Person accounts. These appear as a single record with both account and contact fields. Let's emphasize this last point again. Health Cloud only models patients and members as person accounts because they are used to represent a single person. The traditional account and contact model is not compatible because a patient or member will not need to be associated with a specific organization. Let's focus on referral management decisions and features you need to know. Referral management will help you close the loop on the referral process, including prioritizing referrals and tracking the results. Referrals can come from a variety of sources, including contact centers or other providers. We recommend you use the lead object and conversion process to qualify incoming referrals. The use of leads will allow you to benefit from ongoing enhancements to the lead object. Now I'm going to open an existing instance of Health Cloud and show and demonstrate a few of the topics we've just covered. We will start in the Referral Management Console app that has been created for this org to manage incoming referrals and qualify them to eventually become patients. In order to view all of our leads, which represent incoming referrals, we'll have to create a new list view on the lead object. We'll navigate to the gear icon in the right corner of the page and select New. Here we can add filters and display the appropriate fields to make organizing incoming referrals easier to manage. Let's filter by status and create a list of only new referrals. Using this new list view, a referral manager can start their day by working on the newest incoming referrals. Let's select this referral record and change the status to working. Now we are able to review standard health cloud fields to understand who the referring organization and practitioner is as well as who they are referring to. We can also review any contact and insurance information provided. Once we can confirm all the necessary data is entered and approved, we can move this referral to the qualified stage. Now that this referral is qualified, let's convert it to a patient record that will be modeled as a person account. Select the convert button in the top right corner. This conversion method will allow you to verify the patient's name and which person account record type you would like to create. The patient record type is called person account in this org, but that could be changed to prevent confusion. You can see we have a few other options if we wanted to use leads to intake potential referring providers as well. We also have the option to create an opportunity if we'd like to continue the intake process after conversion. Now let's take a look at the provider relationship management data model and features. To represent a complex collection of relationships among healthcare services, we use a data model diagram to understand how Salesforce stores data. Here you see data about physicians, practitioners, and facilities as well as credentials and national identifier information. Provider Relationship Cards is a helpful feature to access and visualize complex provider relationships on one page. You can use the Lightning App Builder to add the Relationship Card component to an account or contact page. You can also customize and specify the relationship and fields to be included on that page during setup. In an insurance organization, you want to engage physicians to improve outcomes and reduce the cost of care. In a provider organization, it's important to connect to complementary partners to make sure your patients are getting all the care they need and to drive referrals back to your own services. In a life sciences organization, you need to work closely with physicians to identify and deliver the devices, medications, and services they need. Next, let's take a look at the way you would represent these relationships in your Health Cloud implementation. Now let's reopen our instance of Health Cloud demonstrate a few more of the topics we've just discussed. It is important for healthcare organizations to maintain strong relationships with their provider network. 
let's look at how Health Cloud approaches these requirements. Let's start in the Provider Management app, which has been created in this org to assist physician liaisons to manage relationships across their network. On the home page, you can see we leverage analytics to provide insight into our physician visits and referrals. Also in the task component, we can manage daily tasks. It looks like there is a meeting scheduled later with Dr. Carol Peterson. Let's select her record directly from the home page to review the standard health cloud fields and better understand who Dr. Peterson is. These fields give insight into contact information, referral data, primary associated facility, etc. We can also use the standard health cloud data model to show a physician's NPI, board certifications, related facilities, specialties, and much more. Theses are located as related lists on Dr. Peterson's contact record. Also, included in this 360 view of Dr. Peterson are relationship cards. Since providers typically practice across multiple provider groups, these cards are used to show what other practices Dr. Peterson is affiliated with. In order to customize the relationship and fields used to display this information, we will have to navigate into Setup. In Setup, let's search for Relationship Card in the Quick Find box. Once on the page, we can either create a new relationship or select Edit next to an existing one. Enter the name of the card and where you would like it to appear. For this example, our card will appear on the contact record page, otherwise known as the physician. Next, select the type of relationship and which object is supporting the relationship. Here we are using the healthcare practitioner facility object because it creates a relationship between the contact and account. The final selection to make will be what fields are displayed on the card. We have a choice of fields from the healthcare practitioner facility object, a related parent or child object two levels away, or three levels away. You can see the facilities displayed in the relationship cards are also healthcare practitioner facility records related to this contact. Now that we have our provider data in Salesforce, the Health Cloud Feature Provider Search allows people to access and search for the data using relevant filters for their needs. Back on the homepage, we can use the Provider Search Lightning component and feature to find a care provider based on parameters like location, availability, and specialty. By selecting the specialty, you can see we have a few results that fit our needs. Now let's briefly turn to some best practices that will help Salesforce admins have a successful implementation. First, regularly review and update your referral and provider management processes to adapt to changing organizational needs. Second, use the power of automation in Salesforce, such as Flow and Omni Studio, to streamline routine tasks and improve efficiency. Finally, engage with the Salesforce community and seek advice from fellow administrators. You'll find a wealth of knowledge and support. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.